Okay, so this is a question I get all the time. Like I made that cutscene, everyone had cutscene, but I didn't tell them how to turn them off. And I know that's a lot. Of, that that's a problem that a lot of RPG makers struggle with is you know turning off their cutscenes because a lot of people don't know how. I didn't know how until recently. They just usually usually worked for me, but uh, since they apparently don't for everyone else, uh, I guess this is going to be a video of how to turn your cutscene off. Okay. Okay, so let, let's go over the cutscene basics first, okay? First of all, everybody knows that you don't have to... Like, when you, you're cutting event to make people move and stuff, you don't use it on an actual event. Like, see, I have a little guard here. There's nothing there. It's just the event. That's just this picture. And then the one on the right, which is this guy's the same thing. Just a different icon and facing the different way. Okay? And so, when you make a cutscene, it's not on an event. You make it completely separate, somewhere where no one's going to see it, can't bump into it, you know, it's just there. So what you want to do is, when you open your event that's going to be your cutscene, <coughs> you want to make it parallel process, or auto run. I'm not sure which one is better. I use parallel process, and that means it'll let you do stuff, or other events can happen while this is going on. And uh, anyway, so this is just my short little cutscene. I'll show you what it does. Starts up. Alright. Guard walks over to him. You little punk. Oh. And then he punches him. And the thief is like, Arg. And then he falls down. And then look, the cutscene's over. I can go walk around in between him and just be like, What's up? How's it going? Got any change? Hey, guy. What's up? Wake up. Wake up, Mr. Sleepyhead. Come on. <coughs> wow, that was incredibly gay. But, I anyways. So yeah, that's just what it does, and the cutscene stops. Pretty nifty, right? Okay. Okay, so to make your cutscene stop, you make your cutscene, just whatever's gonna happen in your cutscene, and then you make a page 2 on your cutscene event, with nothing there. You just click New Event Page, and uh, you wanna make a condition switch, make some switch turn on, it doesn't matter the name. Just make it one that's made solely for the purpose of stopping this cutscene. So make it something you remember. So anyway, so on your page two, you know, switch, switch off, that's what mine's called. So the conditions for it to be on this page and do nothing is the switch, switch off is on. So we're going to go back to page one, and we're going to insert an event, which is control switches, and you want to turn uh, switch off on. So that means that it'll go to page two, where nothing happens. So it'll stop your cutscene. And uh, you'll see I have two switches here, that's because uh, the thief falls down, I don't know if you saw it, but he like falls and is laying on the ground and so you don't have to change maps, which when I was like when I didn't know what I was doing, that's what I would do I would change maps every single time an icon changed, which as you can probably imagine, took forever so what I did is on him I made another event page and the switch thief down has to be on and he'll be laying down, and so in my cutscene event I just turn that one on too, so he'll fall down. So anyways, yeah, at the end of your cutscene, just activate your page 2 on your cutscene event that has nothing, that does nothing, and it should stop your cutscenes. Alright, so I hope this answered your question. Like, this is the only question I ever get, you know. Well, you know, of course, I get a bunch, but a lot of them are, how do you stop the cutscenes, how do you stop the cutscenes? So, yeah, there you go. Question answered. Awesome. Alright guys, so cool. No tutorial. It's been a while since I made one. It's like, brings, brings back warm fuzzies, warm fuzzies. That sounded pretty gay too, but you know, hey, don't judge me. I'm making these tutorials, man. Yeah, anyways, alright, peace.